Today on Engineering Newswire, we're bringing sports car sounds to the minivan, landing drones on an autonomous spaceport ship, and sculpting nano sculptures in the nude. Musk is notorious for being cryptic. We all remember the anticipation after he took to Twitter and said this. Well, he has taken to the social media platform again, this time revealing an image of what he calls an autonomous spaceport drone ship. SpaceX has released no official statement on the ship, but Musk continued tweeting, explaining that the vehicle will allow for refuel and rocket flyback in the future. We also know that the ship's thrusters are repurposed from deep sea oil rigs. The base is 300 feet by 100 feet, and wings extend the width to 170 feet. And it is also able to hold its position within three meters, even during inclement weather. Later tweets also reveal the testing of hypersonic grid fins on the Falcon 9 rocket in an X-wing configuration. Musk says that the fins will be going on the next flight and will be similar to the ones shown here, but larger. Each fin moves independently for pitch, yaw, and roll, and are stowed on ascent and then deploy on re-entry. While that was all that he revealed, and we're not quite sure of his plans, we can expect great things. Or not. At least something, I, I think. We'll see, I guess. There is something to be said about the captivating rev of a Mustang engine. However, we can't all trade in the trusty minivan for the sports car of our dreams but we may be able to have a vehicle that sounds like one. Say hello to the Sound Racer. <laughs> this device plugs into your car's cigarette lighter and reads the revs of your car's engine through the alternator before outputting a different engine noise through your car radio. The sound even adjusts to speed, acceleration, and shifting. The company has developed various devices that give you the engine sound of a Mustang V8, a Gallardo V10, a Ferrari V12, and a Lexus LFA V10J. The company is even working on creating engine sounds for the electric vehicles, because the Prius is, well, just too quiet. Currently raising funds on Kickstarter, the newest device, the Sound Racer VX, will have four sports car engine sounds, Harley and Japanese sports bike sounds, and an additional micro SD card slot for customization. Backers will need to dish out about $66, and if everything goes as planned, you may have your new device around May. <laughs> Artist Jonty Huritz set out to examine the concept of scale, and as with many sculptures, the project started with a little inspiration. And I won't go into the details, but um, an amazing muse came into my life. I had a muse once. After 10 months, and with a crew of 15 people, Hurwitz has created the smallest human forms in history. Seven nano sculptures of Muse Yafat Davidov, each about 80 by 100 by 20 microns in size. And they're naked. This piece is called Trust. I like trust. So how did Hurwitz do this? Well, like every other big thinker, he found a team of able bodies to do the work for him. First, he found a warehouse in Sussex rigged with 250 Nikon cameras to capture the objects of his affection. Of course, such a practice yielded a massive data set that needed to be reassembled into a 3D model. Taking this data, I suppose, from all of these cameras and slowly constructing it into I suppose the term is digital clay. So CAD. Digital clay. And so on the screen you end up having this beautiful 3D construction. So a CAD model. Digital clay. Hurwitz then hunted for someone for the fab and imaging and found researchers at the Institute of Microstructure Technology at the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology who created the figures using two photon absorption. After KIT, or KIT, figured it out, they sent Hurwitz his work. Because you start to see dust on the mirror. There's the, 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 the seven things, and they all weirdly shaped dust particles, but the same weird shape. Jaunty joins fellow artist Horton, 
who discovered a nanoscale civilization on a rogue dust bank. Boil that dust bank. The slide required an electron microscope and 45 minutes of searching to even see the microscopic human forms. And after 10 months of mesh processing, mesh reduction, texturing, and what happens? Oops. I was in front of the screen and I hear, oops, oops. The technician snuffed out his seven sculptures with a single fingerprint. So a physical object went missing and in its place it left a story. Translation? Are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in an upcoming episode. For the PDD channel, I'm Melissa Fossmanner and this has been your Engineering Newswire. <laughs>